I just recovered a video from this SD card, but as you can see, the recovered video won't open somehow. Even if some videos open, they just end up stuttering or showing weird glitches. So, in this video, you'll learn how to actually get your videos back and make sure they can play perfectly. But before anything else, stop using it. Otherwise, your data might be overwritten and you'll never get them back. So let's just unplug the SD card first. Before we get into the recovery, you should know that, unlike typical data storage, SD cards from devices like Nikon, Sony, DJI, Insta360, and GoPro, they save data in fragments. That means video files are often fragmented and saved in different spots on the SD card, and that's why I couldn't recover the original video using some random recovery software. Some tools can't even find anything at all. But the tool I'm about to show you next has a feature specifically designed for SD card data recovery. It can locate lost files and reconstruct fragmented footage, finally reinstating videos to a playable format, whether they're MP4, MOV, or other formats. Well, it's called Ezus Data Recovery Wizard, and it supports a wide range of devices, including drones, CCTV, dash cams, etc. Now let's get started. Oh, be sure to watch until the end so you don't miss any critical steps. First, connect your SD card to the computer using an SD card reader or adapter, and then download and open EZUS Data Recovery Wizard. Now let's head over to the SD card tab and choose my device and start searching for lost data. And there you go, see this? It's already detected the missing partition, which means we've got a good chance of recovery. How long the scan takes depends on the amount of data on your SD card. But you don't need to just sit and wait. While it's running, you can click through by path or type to find and preview the photos or videos you want to get back. By the time the scan completes, you'll notice the tool is starting to repair the damaged video files automatically. Same here, it's going to take some time. But trust me, by the end, you'll think it's worthwhile. Now that both the scanning and repairing are done, we can get started on bringing those videos back. Go to recovery and now select the videos you want to recover, then click the recover button and choose a save location outside of the SD card so you don't overwrite your files. Also, make sure this option is turned on. Then just click save to send all your videos to the destination. Recovery's done. Now let's see if we can open these precious memories. And yes, just as expected, all the videos open and play normally, but sometimes things can be more complicated. In my case, I managed to get all my files back. But if your videos still fail to play, additional repair is required. For that, you can try out a free online tool like EZUS Fixo. It works with many video formats and can handle various types of corruption. Just upload the videos that won't play and click repair, then wait a few seconds. The video will be back to its original state and you'll be able to watch every single second of it. The download button here allows you to save the video on your PC. So that's how you recover videos from an SD card. And remember, always eject the SD card before pulling it out. Also, think twice before formatting or deleting any files. Hope you found this video useful. See you next time.